Oh my god, hello Fusero <laughs> 594. Today has been quite an interesting day. Uh I dislocated my knee, like fully, fully dislocated. When it happened, my kneecap was on the other side of my leg. So that was fun. I have a uh, I have a big old brace on it. Sorry, I'm naked. Not really. Um and I, I'm gonna be off my legs for like a week, week and a half. It was dislocated, not broken. There's a tiny little fracture, but it's not broken. Also, I'm sorry the lighting is really bad. I have the big light on, and that's the only thing, because I'm really tired, going to go to bed. But it, uh, let me explain the story, right? So I work today, busiest day I think I've ever had as a morning cook. I've had busier days, but not as a morning cook. But it was fun. I had a fun day, because, I don't know, I was just in a good mood, and Carter was working, so he, that always makes things more fun. So I was just having a fun day, right? I asked Carter, hey, you want to hang out? He's like, sure. He's like, hey, I kind of want to shoot a music video. You want to help me with that? He was like, yeah, sure. Uh... So I tried to get up, gather up some people. So I got him, Colton, and then no one else wanted to go up first, but then Brandon and Caitlin came along, his sister. Uh, so then after work, I went home. I waited for everyone to get together. Brandon, Brandon, Colton, and Brandon, Brandon, <laughs> Brandon, Colton, and Caitlin came by. Colton stayed while, we well, know they went to Eli's for a bit. They came back and, uh, or Colton walked from Brandon's when they came back. And we waited on them for a bit. And then we, we started going around filming stuff and it was going really good. It was going really, really, really well. We got some really funny, cool shots that I think will be funny for the video or for the music video. And then Carter came along and uh, uh, he came up with this idea and in no way, in no way am I blaming him for what happened, but it was his idea, but I'm not blaming him. It was not his fault that this happened, but he had this idea. There's this little building that you can get on the roof of easily if you just climb a little bit, right? Not, not like literally like just like hoist yourself up and and so we tried it once i fell right i fell but i was fine we tried it again i fell again sorry i have to scratch my foot hold on ow 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 so i fell twice and on the third time third looks the charm i get up right and as soon as i get up i fall and as i in in my memory we made it up and then i was just letting myself back down but in the, there's footage of it in the footage I get up and I fall and I guess I fell like at a weird angle on my leg or something. I put all the weight on my leg. I fell down and I heard, I heard a pop. I heard a pop and that sound is going to live inside of my head for the rest of my life. And I fell to the ground and I started screaming. It hurt. I, no, it, it didn't hurt at first, but I knew something was wrong. It, it, it was less of a scream of pain and more of a scream of what the fuck just happened. Like it hurt, like it hurt, but like, not nearly as much as you think it would, but it was more, I, I was terrified. I thought like, cause I, I heard the pop and I knew something was happening, but then I looked down and I had these really tight pants on because they, uh, they were, they, they didn't just come out of the dryer, but I hadn't worn them since they came out. So they were a little tight. You could see my bone sticking out of the pants you, I, you, you can see my knee my knee my kneecap hoisted over to the left <laughs> my knee was in italics and uh i looked at that and i i people say i couldn't believe it i genuinely could not believe this was happening i looked at my knee and like it it wasn't happening like, there's no way this is happening. I'm dreaming. I was convinced that I was in a dream. Fully convinced, like, oh, I'm just going to wake up in a few in a few seconds. No, I never woke up. No matter how pinching or pain it was, eventually it started hurting a lot worse. Like, it was just the initial shock of it that it didn't hurt as bad. I, but, dude, I was screaming so fucking loud that a guy came out of the house and was like, what the hell is going on? And, uh... I feel, I feel so bad for that guy. Whenever I, I can walk again, I'd like to go over to that house and just thank him because he gave us the address of the street because Caitlin called 911 and uh, he told us the address. But uh, <laughs> not only was I, my knee, my, not only was my knee dislocated, but I, <laughs> where I fell was like, so the, the place where we could get up on the roof was at a slant. It was a slanted kind of like alleyway. And then it was like a curb and then it goes down into this grassy dip, and then it's the wall to the building, right? And I fell into the dip. So not only was my knee dislocated, but I was like in the ground, right? And uh, 
and I, I was just holding on to my knee because I, I honestly thought that my bone was sticking out of my skin. Spoiler alert, it wasn't. But I, I was convinced because I could see it poking out. I could see my... Ugh, I could see my bone poking out of my knee. It was so bad. I, and I immediately got a video of it. Of course I did. Um, but we were recording, and in the footage, you can hear me scream. It, I... That's... Like, it's a hard watch. Like, you can't see anything that happens, but just from the way I'm screaming, I, I can't watch it, dude. I can't. Um... But, you know, I'm looking down. Caitlyn, Brandon's sister, was like the great... Caitlyn and Colton were like the two main characters of this. Well, I guess I would be the main character, but they were they were the heroes. They, they were the heroes. Caitlyn... And I, I was being a fucking dumbass. Caitlyn was like, should I call 911? And for some reason, I said, no. No. Why? Why would, I, why would I say no? Eventually, I was like, yeah, call 911. But I was panicking, and I didn't know what to do, and I felt like I was coming off of a, as a bit of an asshole. But granted, my knee was dislocated. Um, but I, I, I do feel bad about, like, not knowing what the hell to do. So, Kaylin calls 911. Colton calls my dad. My dad did not believe him at first, but then he heard me scream in the background. I was like, okay. So, he got there pretty fast because we were close to the house. Uh... But then, you know, the amp, my dad came, he kind of like hoisted me up. So I was like, I didn't have to like, I could lean back a bit. And, uh, and then the ambulance came and it was a mix of shock and also just like disbelief. I was in pain. Like you could tell I like, I, my leg did not feel good at all, but I was, <laughs> I was taking it surprisingly well. I was taking it very well that when, like, the, the ambulance guy came up, I, I think I literally said, like, hey, how you doing? I, I, I looked at him and I was like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> With a bone sticking out of my fucking leg. And uh, they gave me some, I forget what it's called, but it's basically synthetic morphine. I think, like, one milligram of it is, like, seven milligrams of morphine. So they gave me that, and then I felt fucking, I felt fantastic. Like, my legs still hurt a lot. Uh... But like the, the ambulance came and then the firefighters came to get me out of this ditch that I was in because I could not get out. It hurt. That hurt a lot. Um, they had to cut through my pants, which sucked because I, I really like those pants. Um, but they cut through them and I, I was wearing my dad's suit jacket that uh, I asked him if I could wear the gray suit jacket. And he was like, yeah, sure. But then I grabbed the black one and I feel like an ad. Oh. Girl. God, she's so annoying. Yeah. But I, I grabbed the black one, and that thing is tight. That thing was really tight. Uh, and I was so scared that they, they would have to cut it off because that, it was expensive. That suit was expensive. But they didn't. We got it off fine, I think. Uh, but they had to cut my pants to get to my knee. And I, I, I was not looking at my knee. I was like, like I, I saw through my, I, I was touching the bone. I, I was touching, like, like, through my pant leg. I was touching it. And I was freaked out, so I knew I couldn't look at it. So I looked away. They stuck me with the... I, I'm just going to call it morphine. It wasn't morphine, but it's cl it's close enough. They stuck me with the morphine. After a bit, I start feeling fucking great. I'm making jokes about it. I'm talking. Uh, they, pull, they, <clears throat> they pull me up. I get myself up onto, onto the gurney. That hurt like a bitch. Uh, and then they start rolling me down. It's really weird being rolled down in a gurney down a hill on morphine. It's just a weird feeling with the bone sticking out of my leg. It wasn't sticking out of my leg. The bone did not break the skin. Oh, hi, girl. Hey. Hey, I'm laying down. Oh, my God, dude. I, I can't. She fucking slept with... Oh. She slept with me last night. I woke up. Like, I, I, I woke up to her, like, meowing or something, and she, she was laying right here. She, she was laying on this little pillow, and it made me so happy because I, I love it when, when she shows affection towards me. Uh, and that, that was really nice. Uh, but anyways, there was a bone sticking out of my leg, but it wasn't. Uh, so I got in the ambulance. I'm, I'm, or no, I'm getting into the ambulance. I'm begging someone to record me, and Colton starts recording. <laughs> but, like, he records, zooms in on me, and then immediately takes away. It's like, no, I'm not doing this. <laughs> Which I completely understand why he wouldn't do it. But I, I wish someone did more. Um, but I get it. I, I, I completely understand. 
Um, so yeah, <laughs> then I get into the ambulance. And at this point, I feel fucking amazing. <laughs> My leg doesn't hurt at all. And I'm like, I'm, I'm talking to both of these. Uh, there was a girl and a guy. And I'm just talking to both of them. And they're really nice. And, I'm to and I told them that, like, yeah, I was shooting a music video. And they both asked me, oh, what kind of music it is? I'm like, you listen to ABBA? Fuck, I fucking love ABBA. It's like, you listen to ABBA? And they're like, yeah, yeah, I know ABBA. Uh, and then, you know, the, we start leaving. We have to go to another city because the hospital here fucking doesn't do traumas, apparently. Uh... Can I turn this up? No, no, I can't. Question answered. Um, so we had to go like 20 minutes out. <clears throat> and then my leg started hurting a little bit again. So like he gave me another. And so I had 14 milligrams of morphine, basically. Of course, through my veins. And oh my God, I felt, I felt so good. <laughs> I felt so good. I'm addicted now. I want more. I'm not going to say I don't want more, but I know what happens if I get more. So I'm not, I'm not going to get more. Um, but goddamn, it was just a fun ride. I was having fun. And even now, I still think today was fun. I still might be a little drugged up. But looking back at everything that happened today, I was having a good time, honestly. Like, meeting these new people. And, uh, so, so, uh, you know, through the car ride, I start talking, I start talking to the guy. The girl's driving, so I'm talking to the guy. He, uh, he's, he tells me that his parents own a pizza shop that he works at whenever he's not... He works there like 10 days out of uh, out of a month. And so, uh, and he does like a 24, 48 shift where he works 24 hours and then gets 48 off, um, which is nice. That's not bad. Uh, but working 24 hours fucking sucks. That's got to be awful. Um, and then he said that day he was working two 24 hour shifts. I'm like, oh my God, I cannot, I cannot do what these people do. Because I complain about working five hours at a pizza place. So I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do that. Um, Uh, but yeah, I'm just talking to this guy. Who I'm learning about him. He he likes Chicago Fire PD, but no other medical show. Wait, he doesn't like it, but he watches it to make fun of it, which I understand. I told him my favorite is House, and he said House was pretty cool. Um, and I we 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 just keep talking. Uh, he told me that his dumbest reason for taking someone to the hospital was that their toenail fell off. Well, you know, my fingernail fell off once, but I fell off, fell off once, but I I, I didn't have to go to the hospital for that. Anyways, we get to the hospital. They roll me out. I'm feeling fucking fantastic still. We get in. They take me to my room. I pass a bunch of people that are more fucked up than I am. So that made me feel uh, better, but also worse because I'm like, I feel really bad for these people. So they, they put me in the bed. I, I'm so drunk up on morphine at this point that getting in the bed was a fucking cakewalk. And uh, I'm laying in bed. My dad comes in. I feel a lot better. I mean, I felt, I felt really good, but like my dad was there. So I automatically felt better. Hi, girl. Sorry. Um, sorry. But yeah, they come in. I, it's, this is a little blurry. I don't know the exact sequence of events. But Carter, Colton, and Eli came with us, which made me, that, that still just makes me happy that they came with me, especially Eli, because, like, Carter and Colton coming makes me really happy, but Eli wasn't even there to begin with. He, like, decided to come, you know, and I, that's just very cool. Brandon and Kaylin didn't come because Brandon has to work in the morning, and I'm not going to give him any shit for not coming, um, but, but Colton, Carter, and Eli all came. And uh, I, I think they all tried to come in at once. Oh yeah, Dylan was there. One of Carter's friends. He's he works there. And when he when he came in, and then when he left, I was convinced that I had dreamed that encounter because I'm like, he's the last person I would expect to see. But anyways, they all tried to come in at once, but like you can only have like two people in. So my dad left. I think. I don't know at this point. I, I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm just scared to like. So we had to take an X-ray of my leg to see if it was a break or a dislocation because at this point it's been somewhat decided that it's a dislocation but they aren't a hundred percent they were like 75 to 80 percent sure it was a dislocation so they wanted to get an x-ray to confirm it the x-ray sucked they brought this machine in but they had to keep moving my leg and i think i don't know i think just the way they were moving it it hurt really bad 
but they did it. They kept apologizing for it, but like you don't need to apologize. It's not your fault that it hurts. Um, so they kept moving it. They put it down. They left. Uh, the doctor came in. I, I hadn't seen the doctor at this point. He tells me that it is dislocated and not broken, but there is a tiny little fracture in it. And at this point, I was so relieved because they wouldn't let me drink any water. Ever since I've dislocated, I was... My dad told me I was sweating fucking bricks because it was a little warm that day and I was wearing an entire suit and I, I was sweating, but like I wasn't dripping, but I was in shock. So I started like, like running sweat down my fucking face and I was so dehydrated. I had no water because like you can't drink water and go into surgery in case you like puke, you know, you don't want to puke during surgery. Uh, sorry. Um, so I get that, but like at this point, I had been wanting water so bad that I was just relieved that it was a dislocation, just so I could drink some water, right? But that does mean that they have to pl like put it back in. They have to replace it back in. I'm like, oh fuck. So the doctor tells me like, yeah, if we do that, we're probably going to put you on some ketamine. And I and I literally like, I've never done ketamine before, and I, I don't plan to, but I know it's powerful. <laughs> I know it's powerful, so I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, and so they, he, he was like, you'll probably have two options. One, you can stay awake during it, but you probably, you'll still feel a little something, but it won't be nearly as bad. And two, we just knock you out. I'm like, okay, I guess I'll choose when you guys give me the option uh, or like when it's time. So then he leaves, blah, blah, blah. We good job. It's dislocated. Colton got me some water. Uh, and then I call like my grandpa, grandma, everyone that was worried about me. And then, uh, and then the doctor guy comes back in and he has another dude with him that, he introduced himself. He said he was something of something. Uh, and he was the guy that was going to put my leg back in. And I'm like, oh, okay. So when, it, when it, like, and they were like, they were getting ready. I'm like, okay. And I literally asked them like, am I going to get more drugs? And they were like, they did like, they just kind of skipped over my question. I'm like, oh fuck. So he puts his hands on my leg. And I like my, uh, I remember, <laughs> Uh, my heart rate jumped, I think, from, like, 105 to 150 the moment he put his hands on my leg. Because I'm like, oh, fuck. My dad puts out his arm so I can squeeze it. And here it comes. The, the worst pain ever. It felt like nothing. It felt like nothing, dude. I, you have no idea. The amount of relief that went over my entire body when he, play, when he put it back in. There's a word for it. When he located it back in not the word but it felt like nothing like there was a little bit of like an achy kind of pain but on a pain scale it's like a one and a half maybe a two right it felt like nothing compared to like what i'd already been through uh so he put it back in and i like i'm so grateful i wanted to kiss the man he gave me a high five i wanted to make out with him not really but i fuck i was just so happy uh so they put it back in they tell me yeah go to an ortho an orthopedist doctor man uh eventually like set up an appointment with him he's going to call me probably sometime this week and if if everything goes as planned which it might not you know and that's fine but i could be out of the brace in maybe a week but i'm not going to hold my hopes up too much on that uh i got on crutches too right there and i fucking hate crutches they suck to use i, I want a wheelchair not really but it would be a lot easier to use um, so yeah. Um, so at, at this point I feel fucking amazing because like I'm high drugged up on morphine. My leg is put placed back in, which makes the pain go from like an eight to like a four. All right. I'm going to pet her every chance I get. Hi girl. Dude, she was acting crazy when I got back. She, she wanted to play, but she was, like, in hunting mode. It was, it was crazy. Anyways. But I feel great, right? And then, you know, they bring the brace. They put the brace on. It's really clunky. My knee my knee looked fucked up. It was swollen as shit before they placed it. It's, my leg was literally, like, it looked... I don't know how to describe it. It looked like a watermelon that had, like, a tumor on, the, on its side. And the tumor was my kneecap. Um... Yeah, so they put the brace on, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then it, ta it takes them a while. And, like, Carter and Colton came back in. With, they, they just talked. Eli and my dad were, like, completely matching. Both plain black shirts with jeans. I thought that was really funny. Um, but they both, like, we kept talking, blah, blah, blah. And then the crutches come in. I'm like, okay, sweet. So I they get me to sit up. 
And the moment I sit up, I crash. Like, I fully crash. Like, I start sweating again. I feel like I'm going to puke. I felt, oh my god, I felt awful. Like, I was, I was completely convinced I was about to puke, right? And, uh, psst, stop. She's hitting a bag. Um, completely convinced I was going to puke. So, the nice nurse lady gave me, uh, more pain pills because my legs was hurting, uh, because I, I finally put weight on it for, like, the first time, and then she gave me some, like, anti-nausea pills, and then she gave me some orange juice and crackers, and all that combined, I felt fucking amazing, and I felt fine, so I get up, start using the crutches, I'm really bad at them still, but I leave, and, uh, they're all waiting for me in the waiting room, and then we leave, we celebrate that I'm fine, uh, if it was a break, the recovery time was going to be a lot longer. And also, I remember the uh, at first, the EMTs were convinced that it was a break because of how well that I was taking it. Because breaks hurt a lot less than dislocations. Dislocations hurt a lot more than breaks do. Uh, so when they came and saw, like, like obviously I was in a lot of pain, but, like, I was handling it so well. They, they kind of just assumed at first it was a break. But I think when they saw the actual bone kind of, like, out of it, they were like, it's probably a dislocation. Um, and then they thought it might be both. I, I I don't know. But, yeah, so it's been an interesting fucking day for me. I, I was, I, what I'm so mad about, I'm mad about, I'm really mad about two things. One, the music video was going incredibly well. Like, we were all having a lot of fun, and the video was turning out really well. And two, I'm not going to get paid. I'm not going to get paid. Well, I'm going to get paid, but I'm not going to be able to work. So I'm not going to make any money for like a week, maybe two. Right? So that's going to... Ah, two. Uh. <laughs> I'm going to kill myself. What's going to happen? I'm joking. Um, but again, I'm, I, I might feel differently about this tomorrow because my leg is probably going to hurt a lot more tomorrow than it does tonight. But I had fun today. Like today was fun. Like... Something interesting happened, and, I, like, it sucked, but, like, I had a good attitude about it, and, like, I feel like that just made a, I, I was on a lot of drugs, right, but there's some people that, even if they're on a lot of drugs, they might be, like, loopy, but, like, I don't know, it was just fun, you know, I just had a good time, and, uh, my dad said I was being very, I, I don't remember a lot about, like, when I first broke it, not broke it, when I first dislocated in the NTs game, like, I remember bits and pieces uh, but my dad said that I was being very entertaining. Like, I don't remember a lot of what I was saying. Um, but apparently I was being very entertaining. So. God, I, I'm, I, I've already gotten flashbacks to when I like fell on my knee and like fell over. I still can't believe it happened. I'm like, I'm still kind of in disbelief that it all happened. Just wanted to, ha like, I was like literally one second. I was having a lot of fun. And then literally, literally in like one millisecond later, I was in like a lot, like an unbelievable amount of pain. Well, not really, but like I was terrified. I was like absolutely terrified. I don't remember the last time I've been that scared. Probably when I was on shrooms. But even then, I, like, knew it wasn't really real. So, I don't know. I don't know. It was scary, though. It really was. Dude, she's running all over the place. I really wish I could play with her. I hope she sleeps with me again tonight. Uh, but, yeah. I'm, I'm, oh, yeah, by, by the way, the last video didn't upload. So, I'm going to have to re-upload that. So, there's probably going to be a double upload today. But, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to end it there. I'll talk about it more tomorrow, but I, I'm going to end it there. If I forgot to talk about anything, like, if I forgot to talk about anything, I'll leave in the comments or talk about it tomorrow. Bye.